He performed earlier during the jam session. Let's give it up for Sayla. How's everybody? I know y'all tired and everything, y'all look tired and stuff. Y'all look impatient and stuff. How y'all doing? I really wanted to do two poems today, but one of the poems I really wanted to save it to storytellers, and I've been saving it for a while for storytellers, but uh, I think, and I think I'll actually do it for storytellers, you know. But uh, this poem is called The Anatomy of a Dollar, Babylon. And when I'm saying this poem, I really want y'all to get into the words of what I'm saying because it's important. And I'm not, and I just, this is not some poet mumbo jumbo. Like, this is actualized food. And I want y'all to, like, listen, you know? So here it is. How dare they say in God we trust? On scripts of voidless epiphanies flattered with blood and lust, how dare they say in God we trust? On scripts of voidless epiphanies splattered with blood and lust, how dare they say in God we trust? On void scripts of voidless epiphanies splattered with blood and lust, the supposed model of the United States. United under the statements of the Federal Reserve, a nation supposedly under God. A nation of the mighty served as sod, whom do you truly serve? They're calling themselves gods. Every time you pledge allegiance to the flag, you are worshiping idols. The American idol. And just as the stars and stripes keeps us bound and tethered, Jesus' scars and stripes endureth forever. The great seal is the mark of the beast. As surely as the sun rises in the east and your love of money mocks God. But Jay-Z says it's the rock. It's death on auto-tune now that he owns Rockefeller stock sold traded to the day traders. Diamonds in the sky, fellas rocking blood diamonds, ladies going gaga beyond saying they're doing and you can't read their poker face. <laughs> The Jews pray to the Hollywood sign. The synagogues place crucifixion against the mosques and the steeples. Fashion victims and their victims. The freedom is a lie if your clothing is affliction. As they sell us back our style and old American true tradition and keep the profits of our loss to fund the new slave edition. This is Babylon confusion as American associations associate their true intentions, guzzling millions of taxpayer dollars in medical persistence, never producing one cure in all of its existence. Because cure don't remedy the capitalist nature. Gaining money is the game from the makers of euthanasia. They put drugs on the market to grab the consumer, accumulate and sell the stocks before they find out it gives tumors. Besides, they've already found a cure. And they'll exploit you like magic before they show you that trick. So they say the economy's weak. Up and smoke with the tour as we throw useless bills upon the Congress floor. As the Federal Reserve Board hoard the money like before, once again in Great Depression, we're pent for dollars like whores. And it doesn't make sense how they keep us deluded. Keep us drunk, keep us high, promising us a piece of the pie as they conquer and divide. Add woes and multiply, prep their kids to presume the position. Living forever taught as they die, this is the true mission. It's basic math. They're trying to eliminate us. They say we're sick already. Before we get the symptoms, Dictating your illness through diagnosis of the system and the prognosis of pandemic is blowing in the wind. And the health, re and the health reform seeks to reform your health. Playing Russian roulette lives versus wealth. Yeah, the prevention task force wants to enforce tasks of prevention and preventing treatment of your ailments according to their opinion, making ailments a disease so only they can diagnose modern day druid coats and signature white coats. And the white stands for good. As they send more melodies, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> as followers hoist Obama above the highest court, leaving them high on the cash card with blind support, and their enthusiasm ended with the presidential race. The blacks and the Spanish are the majority, so they needed your vote to make the next phase float. It's like putting the right to drive the bus but not actually own it. Obama's a figurehead. 
And besides, witch hunts are under shield protection keeps you beats you blue because you're black no matter who's elected. When he spoke of soldiers of misfortune, you were so easily sold. We are the livestock of apples for barrels of gold. And they send more melodies to a broken metronome. Tell them soldiers to their face that they're not coming home. As a war rages on, and the landscape of Babylon, we live in the mindscape of the N8, and we live in mental apollyon. Cause since Columbine, 130 schools have been the victim. And since 9-11, we still didn't get them. And Osama bin Laden says the one who sent them, but the followers crashed into a building and death still omits them? <laughs> you tell me what's the basis. As the statistics got trumped up or by suggestion or dim like a switch, as the media power participation to the hierarchy's hint. Massive layoffs, trillions upon trillions in costs, our deficit respects, our spiritual loss. Pawns are expendable on the chessboard. They need no label. How many times must they poison us before we refuse to eat at their table? Say love.